Good morning, this is Sage live from Calkine Studios and you're watching The Early Trades, a show where we share with you a glimpse of the Australian share market's opening trade scenario along with the global and domestic cues that were triggering the market momentum. And in our first segment of the show today, we'll look at how the early morning trades panned out taking cues from Wall Street's action overnight. And then in the last segment, we'll highlight some of the shares grabbing the headlines during the early trading hours, as well as movements seen in the cryptocurrency, crude oil, gold and the metals indices. The Australian shares opened in the red on Wednesday, tracking weak cues from Wall Street after the US and Chinese economic data suggested slower growth ahead. The benchmark index ASX 200 opened 56.50 points or 0.75% lower to 7,478.40 during the opening trade. The Australian mining and energy stocks expected to drop due to lower commodity prices. Aussie investors now await gross domestic product data for the second quarter scheduled to be released on Wednesday. With the earnings season now over, Bega Cheese, Endeavour Group, IRS and Treasury Wine Estates are a few companies that are going ex-dividend on Wednesday. The Dow Jones fell 0.1%, the S&P 500 dropped 0.1% and the Nasdaq edged 0.05% lower in the overnight trade after blue chip technology stocks retreated amid coronavirus fears and new economic data showed declining consumer confidence. U.S. investors look forward to jobs data for August on Friday. It could shape how soon the Federal Reserve begins to withdraw its support for the economy when it begins to taper the bond buying. Investors took cues from the latest consumer confidence data released by the Conference Board, a non-profit market research organisation. According to its data, consumer confidence dropped to 113.8 points in August from 125.1 in July the steepest fall since February, indicating a sharp drop in consumer spending. Also, the housing price index of the Federal Housing Finance Agency, FHFA, jumped 18.8% year-on-year in June, it said on Tuesday. The index rose 17.4% in the second quarter compared to the year-ago quarter, driven by increasing demand and limited supplies. Real estate and consumer stocks were the biggest gainers on the S&P 500. Healthcare and technology stocks were the bottom movers. The index recorded its seventh consecutive monthly gains in August, marking its longest winning streak since January 2018. Moving on to the last segment of the show, let's quickly look at the highlights of the prominent ASX stocks under the spotlight during the early trades. The first company on our list is Oceana Gold. The gold producing company has resumed its New Zealand operations after the government downgraded the COVID-19 restrictions of the country. The company is now using strict health and safety protocols to safeguard its workforce. And moving on, financial services provider Pioneer Credit has reported an increased statutory EBITDA of 54.4 million Australian dollars for financial year 2021, compared to 33.7 million Australian dollars over the last year. And lastly, we have Metcash, the wholesale distribution company, announced the company's sales are down 1.8% for the 16 weeks to 15th August 2021, as compared to the previous corresponding period. The total food sales were also down 7.4% in the same period. Looking at the bond yields, the U.S. Treasury yields eased a bit on the back of U.S. consumer confidence data. The benchmark 10-year yield surged 2.6 basis points to yield 1.31%. In the currency space, the dollar index fell 0.065% to 1.1809 U.S. dollars after greenback, greenback slipped to its lowest levels in over three weeks. And moving on, the crude oil prices fell ahead of the meeting of Organisation of Petroleum Exporting Countries and its allies on Wednesday. The Brent futures fell to 72 US dollars 99 cents a barrel, while WTI crude settled down at 68 dollars US 50 cents a barrel. Energy stocks such as Woodside Petroleum were in the green during the early trade, whereas Santos edged higher during early trades on Wednesday. Looking at the futures and commodities space, gold strengthened on Tuesday as the dollar weakened and the spot gold was up 0.2% at 1,814 US dollars 42 cents per ounce by 2.01pm EDT 
And the US gold futures finished up 0.3% at 1,818 US dollars and 10 cents. Now leading the ASX listed gold stocks such as Northern Star Resources were in the green during the early trade while Newcrest Mining was also trading higher during the opening trade on Wednesday. Moving on to the metal space as the benchmark iron ore futures on the Dalian Commodity Exchange slipped 5% to 808 yuan a tonne. The London Metal Exchange copper rose 1.3% to US $9,530 a tonne. Zinc was flat at $3,002 US dollars. Lead fell 1.5% to US $2,262 US dollars and tin surged by 1% to 33900 US dollars. And thanks for joining us on that report. But that's all for now in the early morning trades. This is Sage signing off, but stay tuned to Calkine TV as we have many more shows lined up for you for sharing live updates across the economy, markets and sectors.